What's the difference in a course that wildly sells and makes tons of money and a course that just sits there and rots away in a sad, lonely death of decay? Well, the difference is in the planning and in the research that you do don't be alarmed by the word research. It's actually pretty simple. The difference is in the planning. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to plan for a successful course. I've launched lots of courses, especially over at my first online business, Preaching Donkey. I've helped hundreds of people launch courses and I have figured out what leads to success in building a course and launching it and what leads to abject failure that just makes you wanna cry. And in this video, I will show you how to avoid said disaster. My name's Lane. Thanks for being here. Be sure to subscribe. I love to help people escape their nine to five jobs by creating that same amount of income with an online business without hustle, grind, or having to build a large social media following. And so if you're into that kind of thing, be sure to subscribe. We are jumping into a three or four day little series here on building and launching your course. This is part of a broader series I'm doing called Your First 30 Days on Kajabi. Today is day 19, and we're gonna be on this for a few days. Today is gonna be on how to build your course in terms of planning and working through the lessons. Then we're going to do a full course building demo on Kajabi. I'll show you that tomorrow, exactly how to build your course on Kajabi. Then I'm gonna talk about a launch plan. How do you launch your course using Kajabi for the most amount of success? And then I'm gonna show you a whole day, a whole video on just sales pages on Kajabi. So I hope you're ready because this is going to be quite the series. And by the way, if you're not on Kajabi yet, now is the best time. Go to lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. With that link, you get a 30 day free trial. You also get my three exclusive bonuses. You get the Kajabi Accelerator course, which is gonna show you step-by-step step how to set everything up and be successful from day one. Number two, you're gonna get the top three mistakes that new Kajabi users make, which is my exclusive masterclass that I put together after helping 400 people get started on Kajabi. I could see like what works and what doesn't and I'll help you avoid those mistakes. And then number three, you get my 25K course launch email template, which will help you to build the exact launch plan to make money with your course. All that is yours for free when you join using my link, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. All right, so what goes into building a course? What makes a course work? And really, it's kind of broken down into three parts. The first part is research, if you're from Canada, or research, if you're from the US. Research, that's number one. Number two is taking that research and putting it into a proper plan. And number three is going to be like launching it to the people who you've researched and figured out that they want the course. So in this video, I'm gonna focus on how to do the research and I'll stop saying it that way, I know it's annoying. I'm, I'm gonna focus on how to do the res research and then I'm gonna talk about how to take that research and plan. That's what we're gonna do in this video. So how do you research for a course? And this is really where a lot of people kind of mess up with online business because they think to themselves, I know what my course is gonna be about. And I, I, I did this more times than I can count where I would just be like, oh, I, I know what my courses are gonna be. And this is very common. People will get into online business and before they make even like a, a shred of content, before they even have one audience member, they're like, I know what my courses are gonna be. They're gonna be this, this, and this. And that's great. Write all that down. Don't, don't feel bad about that. That's great. However, the difference in a course actually being successful is when you figure out what people actually like want. Like that's what matters. And the way to figure out what people actually want is, and this is this is incredibly like insightful. So like lean in, ask. You gotta ask. Like you gotta ask them what they want. And the and the way that you ask them what they want is really like two questions. The first question has to do with figuring out where people are stuck. Well, the way I like to ask this question is, what is your biggest challenge as it relates to whatever topic? So like when I used to do Preaching Donkey, it would be, what is your biggest challenge with your preaching right now? Another way to say it might be like, where are you stuck? Where are you stuck in your preaching? That's the first question. The second question is, has to do with goals. Like, where are you trying to get? What are your aspirations? So if, if the one question is kind of, tell me where you're stuck, like what's holding you back. The other question is, tell me where you want to go. You know, like, tell me if... if Sky's the limit, you can go anywhere, you can do anything, what would that be? What would that look like? Get them to dream a little bit and get them to tell you in their words what they want. 
And so now, after you have asked that question enough times, you have enough answers to that question, you can look back and go, oh my gosh, like now I'm starting to see a pattern. Okay. So let's say that you talk about fitness, you know, your online business is in fitness and you ask people, where are you stuck in your fitness journey and where do you want to go? And everybody's telling you, I am stuck trying to lose that last like 15 pounds. I'm, I'm just stuck. No matter what I do, I keep circling you know, around this 15 pounds that I need to lose and I'll lose a little bit then I'll put it back on and I'm just stuck. Okay, great. Where do you want to go? Where what I want to do is I want to get that 15 pounds off, but I want to have like a sustainable path forward where I'm not yo-yoing. Okay, great. So now I have, I, I have the research that I need, right? People have told me over and over again, it's that last 15 pounds. Okay, great. What I want is I want to keep it off. Got it. So I start to like put these pieces together and I start to identify like this is a problem that I can solve and maybe I can solve this problem with my course. And that's really the thing that we're going for here. What sets a course apart that actually works versus, versus a course that doesn't work, a course that works solves a problem and it solves a problem that people actually have. It scratches where people are actually itching. And the way that you figure out where that itch is and you figure out where that problem is, is you ask them, you ask them those two questions. So we worked all the way back to where are you stuck and where are you trying to go? So let's say that you do that. And by the way, if you're wondering like, who do I ask? You ask the people that are on your email list. You ask the people that are following you on social. And even if that's only a handful of people, ask them, email them, send it out on social, post it to your page and say, hey, I have a question. Where are you stuck? Where are you trying to go? And get the answers to that question. And by the way, never stop asking this question because over time, this will turn into other courses and other products. But right now, we're just trying to focus on this mini course that we're trying to get launched quickly. So gather that data. And by the way, it's okay to go into this with an idea of what you wanna do. Like, that's okay. Like, you don't have to completely scrap your plans. What you're trying to do is figure out like, the thing that I'm thinking, is it actually anywhere near where people are? That's what we're trying to go for. So put that down on paper, and then we're going to do an exercise that is going to help you actually start building the course. And this is the escape arrival paradigm. So what am I helping people escape from? What am I helping them arrive to? And then what are the milestones along the way? So going back to the example of the fitness thing, what I'm helping them escape from is this kind of like I got 15 pounds to lose and I can't. I wanna escape this reality that I'm in. Where I'm try trying to help them arrive to is I have lost that 15 pounds and I'm keeping it off. Okay, so boom, now we have escape and we have arrival. What are the milestones? Well, the first one is they need to know how to stop like bad mindsets and habits because what's got them to this point is not working, right? Second thing is they need to make a nutrition plan. Third thing is they need a good like workout plan that is going to burn fat and burn a lot of calories. Third thing, you know, fourth thing is they need to, you know, have some accountability, uh, whatever, right? I'm mapping out those milestones because to get them from where they're stuck to where they want to go, I know the path. Now, my job is to take that path and put it onto and put it into a course. So those milestones become, in a mini course, those milestones become lessons. The thing about a mini course that I love versus a flagship course is the mini course can be launched very fast because you might identify five things that they need to know or that they need to do. Well, now all of a sudden, we've got an outline for a course. So take those milestones and start to map out what would a lesson in a course look like, okay? And even in that lesson, you could do the exact same thing, right? If the lesson is new mindsets, right? Overcoming this bad way of thinking that's got them to this point. Okay, that's what the lesson is supposed to do. Where do we need to escape? Where are we trying to arrive? What are the milestones along the way? We can do that for each lesson. So tomorrow we're actually gonna see how to like build out the structure of your course in Kajabi so that you actually have the lessons that you can start to upload videos into and resources and all this. But for today, this is the plan. Ask that question to as many people as you can. Get the answers that will help you to get this ball rolling. 
and do the work of this escape arrival paradigm and you will have something built quickly. If you want a full picture of how all of this works in terms of building your online business and getting it to that first $1,000 a month consistently, go to lanesebring.com slash workshop. This is my turn what you know into dough workshop where I'm gonna show you exactly how to get that first $1,000 per month in your spare time in passive income. And I'm even gonna show you how to make your first $1,000 in the next two weeks. That's all over there at lanesebring.com slash workshop. Sign up for Kajabi, use my link. I'll see you tomorrow for day 20.